Hey guys, it's Angie Tanini Rogers, and I'm back today for day number five and to talk to you about Rich Dad, Poor Dad, principle number five. Again, we're going to review quickly the first four principles so that you can get back on the same page where I am. The first principle was the rich don't work for money. Uh, the wealthy people work for a vision. Number two is that you can't build wealth without uh, financial literacy. So you need to understand the terminology, uh, specifically liabilities and assets, uh, is, is a focus in the book. Number three is to mind your own business. Um, basically, focus on what it is you're doing and don't worry about what the naysayers are going to say to you. They don't understand where you're coming from. Most people don't understand how to step out and uh, start a business, number one, but number two, understand the mindset that one needs to succeed. So, um, Focus on your business and focus on getting results. Uh, and then you'll start to turn people around uh, to be kind of in your corner. Uh, principle number four was that the wealthy don't run from taxes. They learn about tax advantages. Uh, and I suggested that uh, yesterday you would call a financial planner or a tax accountant and make sure that you get your ducks in a row so that you understand how you can take advantage of um uh, tax advantages for your business. Okay, so today, principle number five, work to learn, not for money. So um, basically what this means is that too many people kind of just want to talk about money, uh, talk about, um, you know, all the thousands of dollars you can make doing this thing or that, uh, all the money you can make, excuse me, from selling uh, this tool or this product. And the reality is, is that there's benefits that you are offering people when you are selling an item or a, pro or a product, when you have a tool that you're using that that's made a difference in your business. And if you really want to be successful, I'm sorry, I have a hair in my eye, my eyeball. Um, if you really want to be successful in your life, then you have to adopt the, the um, mindset of a millionaire. And what that means is that you have to be a service to other people. You need to be a happy servant. Um, no millionaire is has made it to where he or she is without having been a servant to someone. You have to have something to offer someone. You have to have something to that draws people into you for whatever that you know, whatever that is, whatever your gift, whatever your strength is. That's what you need to market. You need to market how you're going to help people. It's not about the money. Um, you know, initially and superficially, yeah, it's about, you know, everybody wants to earn more money, every, you know, but it's not about what the money is and how much money you can earn. It's about what the money can get you. What's behind that money? Is it freedom? Is it time freedom? Is it um, you want to be able to spend more time with your kids? Is it, you know, for the last time you are you know you have asked your boss for a day off to do something with your child at school and he or she says no and you have to miss something at school is it to buy back the ability to decide when and where you're going to be is it to um you know take a vacation with your with your family that you've never been able to take is it to have the wedding of your dreams what is it that the money is going to buy for you what feelings and emotions are behind that and why do people want that so um you need to think about you know first you need to be have a very clear vision on what it is that you want and why you want it um because in that emotion and feeling and in in that um, desire there are ways that you can benefit and serve others so think about that and be very crystal clear on what it is you're doing this for why do you want your own business what is the money going to get you and how can you use that desire and that heart that you have to help others and benefit others um, you know it's it's um it's about your desire and how you can be a servant to other people. And finally, it's about learning. It's about, you know, what are you going to learn from the process? You know, you have to be a continuous learner. I've, I've said before that I, um, I have an education. I have two bachelor's degrees and a master's degree. And so I value learning and I value education. I value personal growth and continuous growth. Uh, teams that I've managed, anybody that you've, you'll ever ask uh, that I've ever led um, in an organization, 
um, they will tell you that my main goal is to see people grow. Uh, no matter what position they're in or no matter what their role is, my goal in managing others or um, organizing a team is to um, see people grow in their positions professionally, personally. So I am challenging people to to always continue to grow and always be a better person tomorrow than they are today. And even when you're facing adversity or facing challenges, learning something from that because there's always an opportunity to learn. And so someone with a millionaire's mindset has the hunger to learn every day, to learn from every situation that they're faced with, to learn from every person they come into contact with. Um, they're always looking for what is it that I'm learning from this right now. And then, then they're able to use that to to go onward on their path for success. So um, that's principle number five today, guys. Work to learn, not for money. And, um, you know, one of the um, books that I would suggest that you pick up and start to read, um, other than Rich Dad, Poor Dad, um, I'm hoping that you're reading this as we're going through this or that you have already read it or that you um, are going out to buy it today if you haven't already. But uh, another book is Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, um, and there's another one called Millionaire Mindset. So those are two great books to get your hands on and start reading. Um, I read a book a week, and I try to learn those, um, learn the things that are in the books and use those every day in my personal life, in my professional life, in my business, uh, with my children as a parent. Uh, in my church, I try to use the things that I learn because they're applicable uh, at all times. Uh, am I perfect? Absolutely not. And anybody that tells you that they're perfect or that they've got it all figured out is lying to you. Nobody is perfect um, except for my Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, but, you know, it's just um, it. nobody has it all figured out and everybody uh, should be interested in being a better person today than you were yesterday and being a better person tomorrow than I am today. Uh, and so what is it that you're going to do for others? How are you going to bless others? How are you going to serve others? Once you figure that out and start communicating that and sharing that, people will see that in your heart and they will they will um, join you and talk about you and, and uh, share you with other people. So uh, that's it, guys. Uh, tomorrow we'll be back for principle number six. We've got six and seven left. So I will see you tomorrow and make it a great day. Don't forget to go out and get those books and start to read. Um, make it a goal. Are you going to read a book a week? Are you going to read a book a month? Make it a goal. And then what you do is share what you've learned from those books. Do a YouTube video or write it on your blog or you know send it in an email. But let somebody else know what you're learning. Share the knowledge that you're learning with other people. Okay, make it a great day. See you tomorrow.